Hello friends, welcome to wavescript.info. Here in this video, I'm going to talk about the cross-site request forgery. Cross-site request forgery is an attack. So you can read the technical terms definition here. Cross-site request forgery is an attack that forces an end user to execute unwanted actions on a web application in which they are currently authorized. Matlab means uh, those who is already authorized, some other user can get advantage of authorized user and um, uh, can perform some harmful activity. Here we can understand with the help of example uh, image. So here, so uh, let's imagine this is a company website and uh, here, here this this person is a employee and this person is a ex employee of the company it means uh, he worked in the company but now he is out of the company. He cannot access the company and he can uh, this green person can access the company and both are friends because they work together but now he is currently he is not working and currently he is working in the company. So whenever he will log in in the company website, so they are uh, log in. When whenever this person will log in, their session is started. Okay, it's tough to write in this way. Their session is created, and uh, there is an, a script in a website. which will uh, execute a query for deletion of user account so there is a query which can delete a uh, user account query is like a uh, uh, delete a uh, user from uh, table name where uh, username equals to a session variable so with the help of session variable any user can delete their account in the company website so what he did he sends a email to this person so he sends an email to this person and in email there is a link and inside in link there is a script written by him and in the script there is a request which is an ajax request so when when this person will click uh, on the email link first uh, uh, ajax script will uh, get the session information of the user and he can uh, with the help of a script uh, there is uh, query will this query script will execute and delete the account of uh, that particular person and he will notify via some he will not notify he will not get information the account is deleted or not but if this person will click on the link then definitely the account of that person will be deleted with the help of this query so thanks for watching and in the next part if you are not understanding this part I'm, i know it's tough to understand right now with the help of images but uh, i will show you with an example so thanks for watching meet you in the next part